Hey, welcome back to the Hexagon. I'm here to explain staking today. And to start off with that, let's go over some of the roles. So you have the queen bee, of course, and then you have the worker bee. Those are the, the NFTs that make the honey. Then you have the gang bee. And to tell the difference, the worker bees all have these arm postures. One arm off, the right one is fist, and then the left one is an open hand. Then you got the gang bee who takes honey from the workers. They work so hard to make this honey. But, you know, you got to pay the gang off. And then the gang has to pay the army off. So all the stolen honey that they take from the workers, they then get their their honey taken from the army because they got to pay off the government to keep doing their illegal activities of th stealing the honey. And so, like I said, you got plenty of examples here. Fist off to the right, open hand to the left. That's a worker bee, worker bee, worker bee. And then army bee with the berets and hats and got the got the gun on their shoulder. Then this is the the gang bee who you can see are thieves by their uh, knapsacks with uh, honey falling out. But anyway, so those are the roles. And so staking. Staking, we're going to stick with, with the 10-day lock. It's a little bit easier to follow. It's more even numbers when it comes down to it. So we have the worker bees are the only ones that can go on these locks. And to visualize it, I would say... You're either letting your worker bees go on a 10-day or 30-day contract off to a farm, and they're going to go make you some honey. So, on a 10-day lock, you get five honey per day, and then 15 to 20% of that income will be robbed by gang bees. And then army bees bring back 35% of robbed honey. So, this is the divide if you were to do it like this, but I'm going to do it in a different way. So 10 day lock, say you have five worker bees. Over that 10 days, you're gonna get 250 honey. But as we said, 15 to 20% will go to gang bees of that 250. So after this 15 to 20% is gone, let's just say you got off lucky on your 10 day lock and only 15% of your honey got taken. So that means the gang bees get off with 37.5 honey. So after that, you're good. That's all they take. After they steal from you, you're going to get off with 212.5. And then, so you're you're good now. If you if you do these on a 10 days lock, you're guaranteed maximum 212.5 honey. Then if you have a gang bee and you're you're one of these thieves and you get off with this 37.5 to be able to steal this honey you got to pay off the military the army bees and so from out of this 37.5 35 percent as it says here will be robbed from them 37.5 times 0.35 equals 13.125 leaving the gang be with 24.375. That's basically how that works on a stake. So just to picture it again, you send your bees off to work for 10 days. They're contracted by you to go get this honey for you. And then on their way out, a gang bee stops and says, uh-uh-uh, you got to pay up. And then they either are going to take 15 to 20 percent of what you just harvested. And that's where this math comes from. They take 37.5, leaving these worker bees with 212.5 of the honey they originally had harvested. Then the gang bees then get stopped by the army bees. And they're like, if we're going to let you get away with this crime. We're going to need to cut it at. So to pay off the army, they have to give 35% of what they stole from the worker bees to the army. And that's where you get the number 13.125. So they have to break it off, you know, fair split in their mind. But at the end of the day, after your 10-day lock, you should get at max 212.5 with five bees. Now, this would be different depending on how many bees you send off on the lock. But... That's pretty much it. There's 
resources on the website. You can use this example, same thing. And then there's other resources you can look at. But I'm here just to talk about the staking today. Uh, put in the comments down below if you have any more questions or any specific examples. But like the video, and I'll catch y'all next time.